Because now we have seen that we can run the IPA bot for multiple application in uh, Jupyter Notebook. We can also run it as a Python script so it can run uh, seamlessly as a backend service. So let's see how we do it. So in the same folder, uh, we have earlier we are looking at design Python notebook. There is also a call terminal script for Py. So this is a file that we'll be looking at, the uh, Python 3.py. So we can have a look at it. So this is a Python script already uh, converted from MyPy notebook to, to Python. To Python. So one thing you worth noting here is uh, in Jupyter Notebook, when you log on, you specify enable to a code negative two, uh, negative two, because the background of the notebook is white color. But if you run in terminal, the terminal generate the background color is black. So you need to do the code enable to a code to the positive uh, two. Okay, so this is the display in terminal. Okay, we will run this code. So right click, open in terminal. Okay, so we will start our environment. Let's move on to activate ISS EMB PY3. Okay, so this is a Python environment with all the required libraries and crude IT chat. Okay, next is let's have a look. Yeah, Python. Six. Okay, now it starts the scripts and it will run all the audio to the automatic logon and showing the QR code. So let's get our phone ready. Uh, IPA bot needs to scan the QR code to log on. So I get my phone ready. So I'm going to scan QR code. Scan QR code. Scan QR code. And I'll press login, 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 login. Okay. Okay, log on to the web. Check. Good. Okay, I already start auto uh, reply. So I'm now switching to uh, my Bahay account and I'm going to uh, write to IT bot. IP bot a, uh, a key command apply long. So let's send it. Send it. So it start triggering it right now. Start triggering it. Receive a command called apply long. Okay. So the backend service has been starting. So it's want to click the uh, show desktop. So on the upper left corner there is a desktop icon so uh, the backend uh, task board using tech UI uh, technology will start to do the visual automation uh, based on this uh, PNG ISS VM desktop PNG they will actually click the, the desktop icon and next is it will wait for a while to click the the Chrome Chrome browser, Chrome browser. This is a Chrome browser. Actually, we should maximize it. Maximize it. Once it's there, it should start the KIE web. KIE web. Okay, great. Then start to key in the username, which is um, sales rep, sales representative. When it's working on it, actually I can still talk to the chatbot because this is asynchronous processing. I will say hi, nice to meet you. Nice to, to meet you. Yeah, meet you. 
Okay, nice to meet you again. Yeah, send a message. Dice's bot is working in asynchronous mode, so it's still able to reply me and do other things for me. Okay. While in the back end, uh, it still tracks the tag UI mode, the back end one. So now I start the usual long application data entry. Age of property, address of property, Click the submission. It's not. If you want to create more, then it will. You can do a loop to create more. Okay. Now the bot is proceeding to to log off and close the, the browser. Proceeding to log out. Okay. This is a message. See here. Okay, so we we'll expect to receive a message that has been, has been completed. Okay, okay. Okay, it shows. Completed in two hundred and sixty eight seconds. Two hundred and sixty eight seconds. So this is one uh, return code is zero, uh, 268 seconds. And these are all the activities that have been doing. Okay. Right. Okay. So yeah, if you want to send another request, then it will continue to process. Yeah, uh, that's it. You're running the script as a backend services in the pipeline. Yeah. That's, that's the end of this video.